Hello, knowledge seekers. In this episode of 20 Minute Books, we delve into the pages of the insightful title, Hustle, published in 2016. This essential guide takes us on a journey, illuminating the path to fulfilling our dreams, no matter how unattainable they may seem. It masterfully highlights the prevalent job dissatisfaction crisis and explores tangible solutions to liberate ourselves from the mundane and soul-sapping monotony of everyday work. The wisdom that unfolds within Hustle is brought to you by a trio of accomplished authors. Neil Patel, a sought-after entrepreneur and digital marketer, lends his experience working with juggernauts such as NBC, HP, and Viacom to elevate their revenue streams. He co-founded the revolutionary platforms Hello Bar and Crazy Egg, designed to optimize website visitor experiences. Joining him is Patrick Vlaskovitz, a revered writer and entrepreneur whose work has graced the pages of the esteemed Harvard Business Review and the Wall Street Journal. Often found sharing his insights at major tech conferences, Patrick also co-founded Superpowered Inc., a cutting-edge online platform catering to the needs of audio engineers. Completing this power-packed trio is Jonas Koffler, a seasoned writer and media consultant who guides leaders, artists, startups, and conglomerates in the areas of development, innovation, and strategy. Jonas's written contributions have left indelible marks on several best-selling works. Hustle is a must-read for aspiring entrepreneurs, disgruntled workers seeking an escape from their unfulfilling roles, and artists who aspire to live their dreams to the fullest. Join us as we unpack the wisdom of Hustle in this episode of 20 Minute Books. Hustle, the power to charge your life with money, meaning, and momentum. Introduction, why should you care? Understand the power of hustle and how it can shape your life. Ever got yourself humming to Rick Ross's popular tune, Every Day I'm Hustling? If not, now might be the perfect time to add it to your playlist. Why, you ask? Because embracing the essence of hustling could be your ticket to escaping the drudgery of a lackluster work life and propelling yourself towards your desired lifestyle. Hustling is all about the small but crucial adjustments you make to jettison your life towards greater heights. Throughout this narrative, we're going to delve into what that really means. You'll get an insider's look into the mindset of a true hustler along with practical advice on how to steer your life towards the direction you truly want. In this narrative, you'll find out the perspective of half the American population under 30 about the American dream, the significance of the three M's and why they hold the key to your hustle, and how pop isn't merely a technological term. Part 1. How a skewed economic system hinders us from chasing our aspirations. Do you belong to the rare group of individuals who believe they've nailed the perfect job and wouldn't change a thing about it? Chances are, you're in the minority. Indeed, for many people, the daily grind seems like an endless, monotonous chore. To give you a clearer picture, a Gallup poll reveals that a staggering 90% of workers globally don't feel emotionally attached to their work, although most people yearn to break free from such an unfulfilling routine. Societal structures make it nearly impossible. The traditional career path, going to college or even graduate school, because that's what you're told would land you a good job, is often to blame. But here's the caveat. Education comes with a hefty price tag. In 2007, outstanding student loans in America stood at a jaw-dropping $516 billion, which further spiraled to $1.2 trillion by 2015. This harsh reality leaves the average college graduate with a staggering $30,000 of student debt, while graduate students can rack up six figures. In essence, college often equates to a mountain of debt for most people. While dealing with this, salaries have taken a downturn, and the impact of technology and globalization has resulted in fewer job opportunities. Add to that the looming threat of the next economic crisis that could render those with jobs unemployed, In such a gloomy environment, people end up accepting jobs to pay off debts and meet their bills rather than pursuing their dreams. In a 2015 study, researchers quizzed people between 18 and 29 years old 
about whether they thought the American dream was still alive. The responses were nearly split down the middle. 49% believed it was alive, while 48% declared it dead. Given these circumstances, what alternative do we have apart from settling for dissatisfying jobs? This is the question we will dive into as we navigate the narrative ahead. Part 2. Unlock your potential by breaking away from the traditional roadmaps. You're probably realizing by now that a significant number of people find their work life unsatisfying and see no apparent way out of the repetitive cycle they're stuck in. But here's some good news. There is a lifeline. It's called hustling. Embracing the hustle philosophy can guide you towards a life balanced with money, meaning, and momentum. Despite the general misconception, hustling does not involve exploiting others. It's far from the notions of trampling over others, thieving, deceiving, or anything of that sort. The essence of hustling lies in forging ahead, defying odds, and relentlessly chasing your dreams. You might be wondering, if you're an artist, do you really need money? Historically, there have been artists who didn't think so. Some creatives, dedicated to their craft, considered money not only unnecessary but repulsive. Consider Hugh MacLeod, a copywriter and cartoonist, who insists artists invariably compromise their art when money becomes involved. However, money is essential to sustain your hustle. Without it, you can neither maintain your passion nor produce your art. To put it simply, without the financial means to chase your dreams, you can't find fulfillment in your work or generate the momentum to keep your passion alive. The truth is, many artists could only devote themselves to their craft and thus derive meaning and create momentum by turning a profit. A prime example is Picasso. Without his financial success, he wouldn't have been able to produce the captivating paintings that provided him immense satisfaction and enthralled generations of art enthusiasts. In Picasso's words, an artist must attain enough success to sustain his art. So whether we like it or not, money plays a pivotal role. Part 3. Embracing the hustle grants you ownership over your dreams. Though it's a path laden with risks, do you consider yourself the true owner of your dream? This question might seem peculiar at first, but in reality, most people are merely tenants of their dreams. They're trapped in the confines of societal norms, blind to what truly sparks joy within them. This perspective results in accepting the pre-packaged dreams presented by the system, relinquishing ownership of their personal aspirations. It's akin to settling for a job you dislike while convincing yourself it's a golden opportunity. So what's the way to actualize your dreams? The answer lies in embracing the hustle even if it involves a degree of risk. Hustling embodies the spirit of taking chances, embarking on adventures that could open new doors, bring about change, and potentially make your dreams a reality. Take, for instance, the story of Ernesto, an electrical engineer, and his wife Lucy, a nurse, from Cuba. Businesses in their homeland are often stifled by an oppressive governmental bureaucracy that eats away at people's earnings. Ernesto often contemplated launching a business, but desired to do it out of the government's grasp. This meant he would have to face substantial risks, including the threat of imprisonment if caught. Despite the daunting prospects, Ernesto chose to set the ball rolling, initiating small projects for friends and acquaintances. This gradual beginning eventually blossomed into a larger venture. By the time he retired, Ernesto had earned a substantial sum of money. And although the journey was fraught with risks, he felt that the outcome justified it. His family could afford their basic needs and even managed to own a comfortable car. Part 4. Embrace incremental progress and resilience when the journey towards your dream gets challenging. Stepping away from the comfort zone of a predictable yet ungratifying life can be a daunting task. However, to seize your dream and make transformative changes in your life, you need to venture into areas that might initially seem distressing or challenging. The good news is, you can do so one small stride at a time. Imagine if your dream is to be a celebrated public speaker, but the mere thought of facing a large audience terrifies you. Instead of jumping headfirst into delivering a speech before a huge crowd, begin by presenting brief speeches at your family dinner. 
It might be slightly unsettling initially, but the discomfort you experience is actually a beneficial one. This manageable discomfort is something you can overcome, thereby refining your skills. Gradually, when delivering dinner speeches becomes second nature to you, extend their length or expand your audience. Slowly but steadily, you can gain the experience necessary to fulfill your dream. Keep in mind that persistence in this journey can often generate luck. The harder you push and persevere, the more likely you are to encounter lucky breaks. So even when you feel like throwing in the towel, be it for a job, a book, or a personal project, remember that perseverance bears fruit in the end. Take the example of acclaimed director Francis Ford Coppola during the filming of Apocalypse Now. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. The set was plagued by bad weather, schedules kept getting postponed, and costs were spiraling out of control. To top it all, Coppola was incessantly clashing with his actors who were frequently inebriated or under the influence. Quitting seemed like the most appealing option, but Coppola decided against it. Instead, he opted for perseverance, and soon enough, his luck started to turn. The weather improved, the actors delivered compelling performances, and ultimately, they created a film that won several Academy Awards. Part 5. To ensnare your dream, align yourself with the three unseen laws of hustle. You've begun to understand the art of hustling, but the blueprint remains incomplete without the three unseen laws, heart, head, and habits. The first law, the heart, is critical as it propels you to take action and persevere. Emotions like joy, frustration, or even revenge can serve as powerful catalysts to achieve your goals. Let's say you're irked by how your smartphone earbuds constantly tangle in your pocket, and you're convinced there's a better solution. Before long, you find yourself designing a compact box to keep your headphones organized and untangled. The second law involves using your head to discern and exploit aspects that aren't readily apparent. Consider yourself the captain of a ship. Naturally, you'd need to be aware of the wind and waves to navigate effectively, but you would also need to account for the undercurrents. You might choose to steer clear of them or utilize them to reach your destination more swiftly. The point is, while many only see challenges, a true hustler maintains their composure and spots opportunities in every corner. Lastly, it's imperative to create a habit of establishing milestones and deadlines. Everyone craves a sense of closure at some stage. Setting interim goals compels you to undertake a certain amount of work, and deadlines ensure that you accomplish it. For instance, if your aspiration is to write a book, you could set a deadline to pen 10,000 words within a week. Develop a daily routine where you rise at 7 in the morning and dedicate two hours to writing. Once you fulfill your one-week deadline, set another continuously progressing towards your objective. Part 6. Construct a portfolio to display your strengths and propel you towards your aspirations. Have you compiled a portfolio of your work? If you haven't, it's high time you consider doing so. A personal opportunity portfolio, also known as a POP, serves as a brilliant platform to highlight your accomplishments and attract individuals or organizations that could contribute to achieving your dreams. This tool, composed of four elements, presents a comprehensive picture of who you are, thereby enabling progress. While a resume illustrates your past achievements, potential employers are more interested in your future direction. Here's where the first element of the pop comes in. Potential. Suppose you envision becoming an online marketing manager for a beauty products company. To demonstrate your potential, consider experimenting with various brands and chronicling your experiences on a blog. If you succeed in attracting substantial traffic to your site, it showcases your potential in the relevant field. The second cornerstone of your pop is people, referring to your network, both online and offline. An effective way to broaden this network is by fostering connections between others. By enabling such introductions, you not only benefit others, but also draw them into your circle. The third element is projects. This section of your pop should encompass everything you're presently engaged in, be it volunteering for the Red Cross, maintaining your blog, or presenting proposals to new contacts at networking events. 
This segment reflects your interests while demonstrating your capability to deliver results. Lastly, the proof segment is vital to substantiate your credibility. If your assertions lack concrete evidence, you'll fall short of impressing the right people. Numerous individuals may claim to craft compelling blog posts, but very few can back up their claims with links, references, and examples of such engaging work. Being able to do so proves your ability to deliver on your commitments. Final summary. The fundamental takeaway from this book. Hustling often carries negative connotations, yet it's indeed a commendable approach to persist and strive for your dreams. Regardless of the obstacles, you can always discover a route towards your most profound ambitions, provided you're ready to deviate from the beaten track, relentlessly push forward, and target what your heart truly desires. Thank you for joining me today on this journey of learning and discovery as we explored the insights of another thought-provoking book in our growing library of knowledge. If you've enjoyed our time together, please take a moment to follow our podcast, give us a five-star rating, and share 20-minute books with other knowledge seekers. Your support truly means a lot. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode, where we will delve into another enriching book. Until then, happy reading and happy listening.